All right, so this is a lot of fun here. We're in the key of A, and there's a couple things I need to mention. First of all, I switched over from my normal heavy pick to a super thin one. It's, it's kind of a medium thin. I wanted, uh, I do that a lot on acoustic guitar depending on what I'm playing, because I wanted not only pick sound, but I wanted it to feel good when I'm doing that kind of thing. I didn't want it to be too heavy. I wanted some flex in it. So that's kind of a cool tip too. Have a bunch of different picks on hand. Um, I'm a, generally I play this type of shape, but I use the blunt side of it. That's kind of my favorite thing. So let's start with that first little lick that we play here. This chord shape. So it's over the first chord, which is A. And we're going to do that sort of strum idea. The next chord is A with C sharp in the bass. And what's really great is that the bass player is walking up and creating that tension. So when he plays that C sharp, that, that kind of idea still sounds really good against it because he's just moving up to the third. Okay, one other thing I like to do is move the pinky into it. And that takes me to the first two chords, which is A and then A slash slash C sharp. Then we go to a, a D chord. And I make this D triad right here. But I play the open fifth string with it. And if I get the open E too, I don't, that's all right. So far we have this. Now this is a really cool B minor shape because it goes to B minor. And I'm just sort of forcing that chord against those open strings. I'm just jamming it in there and I think it works. Because really what we're after is this sound. But I love playing acoustic guitar like this because it really has a lot of stuff. There's a lot of notes flying around. It's not going to be there for very long, and it's going to sound really cool while you're doing it. So it goes from here to this D shape, to the B minor. So then I'm going to go back to my original chord here, this little A, and I'm going to play a little walking melody line down. it one more time. And you'll notice that I have to mute certain strings so I don't get them to ring out. So it walks down from this A chord. And really takes, takes special attention to my fingerings. that you can hear that that low A is ringing right with that A chord it'll sound too dissonant when you play it slowly so that's why sometimes you just have to go for it so when I end that part now I go And I'm doing my thirds now. Now we're up on the third and fourth strings. Throughout the course, we've been on strings one and two, strings three and four, or two and three, excuse me. Now we're on three and four. And that's going to work really well against that open A string. And if I don't want the sixth string to ring, I can put my thumb around it, and I can bang away. And here's the walk-up. A, 
minor third off the B, minor third off the C sharp. But you hear how majory that sounds? It's because the C sharp and the E are both in an A chord. Now we're out of that D shape, but we're putting an A on the bass, adding some tension. walk it down from there, from the D, C sharp, B, A, B, A, G sharp. It all just works so well. All this stuff is going to work really well in the key of A for you over these types of songs. You know, if you're playing in a singer-songwriter situation or a duo, trio, maybe a praise and worship type of situation, a lot of this stuff is going to go really well. And it's also going to inspire you, I hope, to write some new things too. So play around with your open strings. Like I said in other lessons, go for broke. You're going to hit some wrong notes, but that's all a part of the learning process.